Damn. Wow. These look like film photos. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most different show on the internet. My name is Riley, as well by my special co-host, Graydon. That's right. You knew it from the start, Mom. Today, we're using advanced AI technology to generate ridiculous images of rappers. This is... Guess, Guess the, the prompt from, from the, the Dolly, Dolly 2 image. image. So you might have seen these images floating around the internet. It's kind of a nine panel AI generated thing like the Fisher Price guillotine, the McFuneral, or like a minion mugshot. The technology used to make that is called Dolly Mini. And it's available to the public. You can type in anything you want and it'll generate nine images based on what you type. Now Dolly 2 is not available to the public yet, but uses much more computing power and is stronger and creates almost uncanny images of what you type. <laughs> now we were lucky enough to get access to Dolly 2 early early for this video. So DJ Grant has typed in prompts to Dolly 2, most of them involving musicians, some of them not. So we're gonna see those images and guess what DJ Grant typed. I am so excited for this. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Drew from the US Air Force. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Also, go to Copes' website and check out our new merch drop over there. It's available right now, it's linked in description. We got a bunch of crazy stuff on his website. Also consider joining our Patreon. It's only $5 a month, you get extra content, you get to participate in the games, bunch of stuff. And we have a cameo link in our description too if you want a special message just from us. All right, first Dolly 2 image we've got. Oh, okay. So it spits out six images each time. We have a lantern that's prevalent in every one. Yeah, there's a lantern. There's like woodland stuff going on. It seems like a painting style. It also seems to be like a unicorn. There in the is sky. a unicorn in the sky. <laughs> in one of them. There's, there's a also, rabbit. It looks like a rabbit with antlers or something. On that's the called a jackalope. Oh, so it's a jack o' lantern. Why is that it? Well, there's a jackalope and a lantern. So it's a jack-o'-lantern. Yes. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. You seem very pleased with yourself. Halloween. Foolishly proud. Ooh. Yep. That Ghouls. Is, yeah. Goblins. You are a fun, good time having kind of guy. <laughs> so we're guessing what Grant typed in <laughs> to get these images. Yes, and he will decide if we get the point. Three, two, one. I put Kendrick Lamar in Harry Potter. I put Childish Gambino in the spooky woods. <laughs> <laughs> This is Kendrick Lamar discovering Narnia. Oh, oh I, I well, was literally, I was between <laughs> Harry Potter and Chronicles of Narnia. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, it does give me Narnia vibes too. Yeah. Wow, that is cool though. Wasn't allowed to watch Narnia as a kid. Really? Too many religious allegories. C.S. Lewis was very religious. Yeah. And wrote a bunch of religious texts and stuff like yeah. that. I had to read them because I went to Catholic school. But Sorry. He's a great writer though. And cool that he could dabble in witchcraft. You know? yeah. So does he get a point for that? No. I got the right rapper, wrong book. All right, next we've got... Oh, hell no. Oh my gosh. We've got some 8-bit style art, it looks like. Uh -huh. Like an old Game Boy thing. Is he playing poker in that one? Maybe he's playing spades or gin rummy. There's some outfit choices that are giveaways for me. Yeah, always got the hat on. The hat and the glasses. Yep. Have you ever thrown a boomerang successfully? Yes. Really? Yeah, we had a boomerang guy come into our <laughs> grade school one time, and he was like a legendary boomerang guy. He went to the Prime Meridian, or whatever that line is, yeah. whatever, and he like threw a boomerang in the future and caught it in the past, or whatever. <laughs> oh, that is genius. It was in a gymnasium that he yeah. was giving his little speech, and he kept throwing boomerangs around and just catching them while he's talking and stuff, <laughs> and then he taught us all how to do it, and it worked. If you throw it really hard, yeah, it You comes have to back. like really throw it hard and then it comes back. That's so cool. It's awesome. Maybe we'll do boomerangs for our next merch. Or for our next uh, social media post. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Logic playing poker in a Game Boy game. I put Logic playing 8-bit poker. This is Jack Harlow playing poker against ants in pixel art form. Wow. Wow. Where are the ants? <laughs> oh, I see the one. Bottom oh, right. Oh, yeah, okay. And there are little dots. It's hard <laughs> to see ants in pixel art. Yeah, I guess they it's are. It's gonna be just one pixel. pixel. <laughs> I thought Jack Harlow for a second, but it really reads more like Logic. Yeah, with me. the glasses yeah. and the ball cap. Yeah. Jack Harlow has that sexy beard and that huge bulking chest and like a silky jumper, <laughs> usually like white linen on, you know, I think of him more as a godlike figure. Right. As I think of logic more like a nerd. Next we've got, oh wow, what is this style? This is beautiful. We've got a Jesus thing going on, but it seems to be mixed with somebody. It's not like just- Like a buff Jesus. It's not like pure Jesus. It's like Jesus and somebody mixed together. Almost looks like Steve Aoki. <laughs> Damn, is this buff Steve Aoki as Christ? Three, two, one. I put airbrush post Malone Jesus in love with a computer. I put post Aoki airbrushed on the desktop. 
This is Post Malone getting married to a computer in pastel art. I'm going to give you that point. Okay. You think I get the point? You get the point. Yeah. And why was he, he so fell in Jesus? Love. I don't know. Why is he Jesus? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that is weird. They made him so Christ-like. <laughs> this is what my yeah. life's like. Oh, yeah, I got you. He's like looking at the computer. He's like, wow. Yeah, yeah he's like, yeah. Sir. he's smitten. Just look at her. No pun intended. <laughs> That's beautiful. Good for Post. I think he's kind of due to be involved in a power couple, don't you? I think so too, yeah. Yeah, he'd I've be great that for that. He'd be like the loving, supportive boyfriend to Dua Lipa. No, they've been hanging out a lot. I know, but she has a boyfriend. I don't think so anymore. You don't think so? I've anymore? heard that they're not. I've heard that they broke up. On what authority? I mean, I've just heard it like a bunch. Like on there was like a news articles about it. I'm pretty sure. New York Times. I think like six months ago they broke up. Wow. Like actually, Post and Dua. That'd be cute. I'd be there for that. Yeah, I'm there for it. And she might make his music better. That's true. <laughs> she might. Yeah. Someone needs to. <laughs> Sorry to gossip, by the way. We're not one of those channels. We oh, I go. like doing that. I know, but we don't really get into all the whole tabloid T E news soup sort of thing. You know? Zach B is dating Olivia Rodrigo. Next. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I hope I got it. So this one, we've definitely got like a physical item. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like just an art style. It's like a physical item typed in. Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, I'd like to inquire about joining your singing crew. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. What? <coughs> Three, two, one. I put Young Thug Sock Puppet. I put Travis Scott as Raggedy Ann. <laughs> this is Travis Scott knitted out of wool. Oh! oh. I get a point? I think he give you a point. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. For some reason, I got Young Thug vibes from this. Amazing what computers can do. Uh, it's to the level of disturbing. Honestly, Post Malone and a computer are kind of a power couple. They're both- Low key. Yeah. Watson and Post Malone get to sucking. <laughs> Sorry to gossip, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they were spotted in Ibiza together. <laughs> Next we've got... Damn. Wow. These look like film photos. It's oh, like a my. Polaroid. This one seems pretty easy. I hope so. It's definitely not the Pope playing Xbox with Stewie Griffin. <laughs> 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 Three, two, one. Playboy Cardi eating an ice cream cone Polaroid. That's exactly what I put. It's Playboy Cardi eating an ice cream cone in a Polaroid. Wow, we finally got a real, real one right. Take that computer. <laughs> that is really good though. It's not really take that computer. It's like exactly what it was trying to do. And the fact that we could guess it is the scary part. It's congratulations, computer. Congratulations, computer. You and Post Malone are gonna have triplets. <laughs> <laughs> I do notice that it can't get people's likenesses exactly. No. Like this doesn't look like Playboy Cardi. It just looks kind of like Playboy Cardi. Yeah, and I feel like it picked up like certain elements of the outfit all right like how it did Kendrick with like the white tee and just like the plain khaki shorts yep and it gets like glasses and a hat for Jack Harlow like it gets like, elements of their image but doesn't can't really nail like there's no birthmark here yep it's just not exact it just but. gets like the face shape and jawline like yeah. that sort of thing but it is done really well like it looks like a real photograph from yeah. far away yeah. yeah but it just doesn't look like a photograph of Playboy Cardi because you can tell that there's differences uh-huh now Riley I read you some of my poetry the other day. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? I mean, my biggest problem with it is that it didn't even rhyme. I say you leave it to the pros. <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yep. Wow, what? This is fire. My favorite thing that Dolly 2 does is add random text that isn't like- Words. It's not English. It could be another language and say something I have no idea, but it seems like it's just mash. Like it's yeah. just like- Schnapple. <laughs> I love when it just adds like, who's he with in the bottom left? <laughs> Who's that guy? Do you think they had this in mind when they gave out access to Dolly 2? Like, all right, we'll let it out to the tech community <laughs> yeah. and, they'll, and we'll see the endless possibilities of this genius <laughs> software. And we're like, Jack Harlow, pixel art, playing poker against ants. <laughs> <laughs> they'll test its abilities. They'll pick up the bugs within it, see how we can improve it and make it more powerful. And we're like, Post Malone falls in love with a computer, pastel <laughs> art style. <laughs> Cheese pizza on a John Deere tractor. <laughs> Three, two, one. Drake is a Family Guy character. Yep. Drake in the style of a Family Guy character. Yes. Yep. Holy shit, Lois. It's Drizzy from the sex. <laughs> Come on, Lois. You know how sticky it gets. <laughs> Lois, your pussy is calling my name. <laughs> I liked it in the top middle one. It almost looks like a, like a fucked up OVO logo. OVO, or I got like Olive Garden from it. <laughs> Ah, you I know the cursive that. with the leaf on it? Yeah. <laughs> and then on the on the middle bottom one, there's a DRK on his shoulder. Yeah. So it's like Drake, you yeah. know. I really want to know who's the other person. <laughs> <laughs> I like the evil one in the bottom right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> he gave his beard like an extra line in his eyebrows. They're like, all right, next one. Yep. Oh my gosh. 
Yo. What? Oh, no way. Why is Kermit there? Where's Kermit? <laughs> Top left, or there's a creepy oh, frog. Oh my gosh, you're right. It almost looks like the frog on the Rainforest Cafe logo. You are obsessed. Well, Eddie Burback did a great video about Rainforest Cafe. I know, but it's just like, chill out. It's I like watched failing. it yesterday. Yeah, it's like, chill out. I feel like one of them gave it away to me, but I don't know. It's it's hard to see in any of them, like who's really the subject. Three, two, one. But Jay-Z getting slimed on Nickelodeon. That's what I put. This is Jay-Z getting slimed on Nickelodeon wow. in front of Beyonce. It's not really. Oh, oh, I do see, okay, top right, I can see a Beyonce type character. Yeah. 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 It's funny because I really only got a little bit of young Jay-Z from the middle bottom one. That's yeah. all I got, but once I saw the smile and just the posture, yeah, I was like, yep, gotta be Jay-Z. And the watches. Yeah. I don't know who's hosting though, maybe Nick Cannon? Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I think if we're gonna colonize Mars, we really gotta plan it. Next. Wow, yeah. what? This is freaky. This is so cool though. Looper loop. <laughs> Looper loop. I know I can tell the art style, but I'm trying to figure out like who this is supposed to be necessarily. Looper loop. Do you imagine walking into someone's room and these are the posters they have on their wall? Like as is. Looper loop. <laughs> and you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you a fan of exactly? <laughs> and they just talk to you in a language you don't even understand. They're like, <laughs> The last girl I dated was into crystals, but this is too much. <laughs> Looper loop. Oop, almost forgot. <laughs> that was an old fashioned sacrifice. Old fashioned sacrifice? Uh, Had to throw away my Gucci? I sacrificed a couple old fashions at the bar last night, you know what I mean? <laughs> Did not please the gods. Let me tell you, my ex wife is a steamboat. <laughs> Thank you, Detroit. Uh, oh no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Dua Lipa in the style of Andy Warhol. I put Dua Lipa as a 90s cartoon. This is Lil Pump performing in a drag show. <laughs> <laughs> it's RuPaul Lil oh Pump. Oh my gosh, it's a drag show Lil Pump. See, I didn't even think this looked like Dua Lipa. I no. just thought the looper loop Me was too. like, it was like, the, like a bastardization of her name. From the DRK and the Drake, yeah. I went right there too. I almost guessed Miley Cyrus because she's kind of giving like that uncorked, unhinged attitude of yeah. Jordan era Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I got kind of like a Madonna vibe too yeah. a little bit, but I just was like, why would Grant win? and type in Madonna sure. for this, you know. Wow, Lil Pump would slay as a drag queen. Absolutely. I wonder where the looper loop came from. <laughs> <laughs> looper loop. Loop, looper loop, my piss smell like salmon soup. Oh, oh, yes. Yes is right. So I know who we've got here. For sure. I'm trying to pick up the art style on this one. That's where I'm stuck too. This one's my favorite yet. Yeah, this is sick. Like if somebody had this art on their walls, I'd be like, nice. Look, you are fucking sick, bro. You want to smoke that bong together or what? When's the last time you think Joe Biden smoked that good Zaza? I don't think he's ever smoked weed in his life. That's bullshit, Riley. You, you don't think so? He smoked Zaza. He's probably doing Adderall and shit. Like he's railing Adderall. Damn. I mean, yeah, I guarantee he is Damn, actually. I would not know what that's like. like what, why would you rail it? It's supposed to just be taken orally. Yeah. Who's what? Yeah, I wouldn't know. Okay. I mean, it does it work better or something? They say it hits faster. I don't really yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know guess I could that. picture that. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Do you have a cigarette? I really yeah, love a cigarette. Yeah, I have a cigarette. Grant, can you put on six TV shows at the same time? <laughs> Three, two, one. Action Bronson in the Matrix oil painting. I put Action Bronson choosing red pill, blue pill, watercolors. This is Action Bronson deciding between the red or blue pill in the Matrix watercolors. Oh! Wow. Spot on your ass. Hey, yo. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Give me the ball back. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Try and block it. Pump fake. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fundamentals right there. What pill are you choosing, family? Uh, probably Beats pill. Damn. I need a new speaker, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Those are hard for me to swallow. I've tried. <laughs> you take those? One or two a day, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> those are those are speakers for Dude, music. Have you seen Dre's physique? I want to get like him, bro. Yeah, but he's not like... <laughs> he's selling pills. Of course I'm going to take them. Oh, oh my gosh. I take Rogan's pills. I take Dre's pills. I took Alex Jones pills for a little while. <laughs> those didn't make me feel too good. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, it gave me indigestion. So you're taking Dr. Dre's Beats pill. Yeah, and Joe Rogan's pills. He's got like suppies and stuff for your yeah, brain. Yeah. How do you swallow? Wait, it's not easy, but like, 
<laughs> it's whatever. Let's keep going, dude. Don't get fixated on me eating speakers. So it's five to four? Yeah. Okay, because I got close, but... And I got choosing red or blue pill. You just did vaguely Matrix. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's what happens in the Matrix. Sorry, spoiler I mean, alert. Lot, <laughs> lots yeah, of other stuff. You should see it if you haven't seen it. It's been out for like 20 years. <laughs> lots of other stuff happens. Have you ever sent a dolphin to space? Not on porpoise. <laughs> 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 Wow. Holy shit. I already feel like I know what's going on with this one, which really? is funny, yeah. Oh, I'm baffled. This is nut. This is nutty. <laughs> the other day I was golfing. Yeah. So I pull up to a par five, slight breeze, mm -hmm. get out the driver. And as I smack the ball 300, 350 yards. Holy shit. The tee flies and lands in my lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> accidentally made an Arnold Palmer. You don't fucking golf, dude. I don't, but for that joke, I do. Three, two, one. Put two chains in a gold house oil painting. Put two chains graffiti style in the money house. <laughs> this is an expressive oil painting of two chains building a house made out of money. Oh. oh. We're both like, if you combine oh, ours together, plus. if you combine ours together, we would get it right. I don't feel worthy of a point here. Yeah, I'll I don't think that. we get a point, but I like that because his name is two chains, there's a lot of chains involved. Uh -huh. So I almost was like, I put your house on my chain. Like when people yeah. say that sort of thing, I was like, that's what's happening. But then I realized that Two Chains is his name. So. And then Two Chains also had that one album, The Trap House or whatever, yeah. and the little pink house was in it. So that was kind of. Yeah. I have braces. <laughs> no, you don't. Grant, can you tell him? I have braces. No, he doesn't. I don't see any braces. Just believe me. No. I don't understand why my friends always do this. This isn't how that works. Yeah, it is. Look, I have an eye patch. I believe you, and you're valid, and <laughs> I love you. Ah, uh, fuck off. Nice eye patch. It's my favorite one you had so far. You're worse than the Supreme Court. I don't understand. If I just say something, why do you guys cast so much doubt? I have a better mustache than you. That's fine with me. <laughs> I don't agree, but... It's an argument to be, there's a debate to be had there. I'm way better at corner three balls than you as well. All right, that's just bullshit. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, what the hell? Absolutely. What? Bro's got the craziest hair I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's between two people. Bottom right looks like somebody to me, and then the rest of them look like somebody else. Three, two, one. But Soldier Boy with a head tat making toast. I put Tyler eating toast happy. Tyler the Creator has become an alien and is, and is infatuated with toast. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got Tyler vibes from the bottom right and the middle top, but then I got Soldier Boy vibes from the bottom left and like the bottom middle. You yeah. Know? That was tough. He's become an alien. So the AI's rendering of like being an alien is like some sort of weird hair helmet thing. Honestly, that might be a clue. I think the AI might have more information on aliens than we do. And so this is what aliens look like. They have like this head gear thing. I thought they'd be a lot sexier. I mean, they could be sexy just with those things on their head. No one could pull that off. Infatuated with toast. Bottom left, he really is. He's like infatuated with that toast. Uh, you know, he's like, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. This is beautiful. Ride him, cowboy. Those horses, they're like beasts. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put a bust of Lil Nas X. That's what I put, a marble bust of Lil Nas X. This is a 3D render of Lil Nas X as a marble statue. Uh, okay, yeah. same thing. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the same thing. It's funny how it gave him like, it's very strong jawline, like old cowboy thing. Yeah. And you didn't have to type cowboy. You know, it's yeah. just Lil Nas X is wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah, the AI really hasn't listened to the new album, I guess. <laughs> Would have given them devil horns if that was the case. <laughs> I'm also glad that you didn't just type in Lil Nas X bust. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got next. Holy wow, fuck. Wow, what? Now, does this involve a rapper? It does. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Bro, I hate dinosaurs. You do? Yeah, I'm so glad we don't live with those ugly ass things. I was obsessed with them when I was a kid. Sure, as a kid, I was obsessed with a bunch of stupid stuff. Like? Milk. <laughs> I loved milk as a little kid. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had milk with dinner every night. I've never had a full glass of milk in my entire life. Well, you're lactose intolerable. <laughs> I was obsessed with dinos though. Wrote stories about them. I would buy little figurines of them and like line them up like they were gonna fight. Anybody out there who was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid, you'd get one of those bricks that you would take little archeology span tools and break open and there'd be bones inside of them and they smelled like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. Try to, I told you, you gotta suppress your bully energy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> You're doing all right. It's just, it's just not coming out as a full word. I think it's cool that you were so curious. Yes, thank you. As a young boy about you. prehistoric life. Yes, thank you. Nerd. <laughs> yeah, the last, it's close. Yeah. You're getting there. And I like the progress. I appreciate that. Loser. <laughs> I love you. And you're, you were probably a cool kid. Pips quick. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, Snoop Dogg riding a dinosaur with a rocket launcher, geometric art. I put Yeet riding a T-Rex comic book style. This is Macklemore riding a T-Rex with a laser cannon in Cubism. Cubism? Wow. Damn, Dang. I thought because he had like a, didn't he have like a hood on in one of them? Thought it could have been Yeet. Next we've got. Oh no. What the heck? What are we looking at here? I think I know exactly what we're looking at here. All right, so we got someone completely yatted up. Neck, face, everything. Yep. It's just so photorealistic. It's like, this is the uncanny valley thing I'm worried about with Dolly 2. We'll really be in trouble when AIs start making AIs. That's when you, the rabbit hole really gets full of rabbits. <laughs> the worry with rabbit holes is that they get full of more rabbits. Because they reproduce at such a high rate. Oh yeah, that's why they, people say we fuck like bunnies. Yeah. I want enough space in the rabbit hole for like wild conspiracy theories. Yeah. You know, and if it gets too full with rabbits, then it's, we're not gonna be able to fit them in there. It's just a rabbit hole then. Yeah, then it's just rabbits yeah. and that's boring, you know. Three, two, one. Phoebe Bridgers with face tattoos, photorealistic. <laughs> I put Phoebe Bridgers with face tattoos. Tattoos. This is Phoebe Bridgers with face tattoos as a mug shot. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. None of these look like her, but blonde hair. Yeah, pale. <laughs> <laughs> Next one we've got, what the hell? <laughs> This looks like uh, Tommy Pickles. Who be wearing a flat bill? I think I know what's going on here. I think I, I think I just got it. This one's insane. It just looks like the style of cartoon that some shit kicking kid would read. Like it's like a really yeah. low brow graphic novel. Parents are worried about their kids reading this comic. Yep. You know? Yeah. Three, two, one. Put Lil Xan being burned by flaming hot Cheetos, 90s cartoon. I put Lil Xan in a pizza bagel tornado slash inferno in Beavis butthead style. This is a 90s cartoon of Lil Lil Xan swimming in a pool of flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. They're flaming hot Cheetos. I thought it was a pizza bagel inferno. I did get like pizza store style yeah. for a second, but then I realized flaming hot Cheetos and Lil Xan have such a storied history. You know? Yeah, that's true. It would only make sense for them to be in the same Dolly 2 image. And flaming. If you want us to do this again, by the way, join our Patreon and send over your prompts to DJ Grant because he will be taking some from the Patreon Discord yeah. for us to to react to slash guess from in the next video. Next we've got, oh my Lord. That top left one would be in my dorm room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is dorm room stuff, dorm room core. Three, two, one. Snoop Dogg smoking fighter jets, psychedelic poster. But Snoop Dogg smoking in a fleet of the Blue Angels. Beautiful. This is Snoop Dogg commanding a fleet of fighter jets. Abstract. Oh. oh. I'm close, but I, I don't know. I kind of want to give you that. Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. You're pretty close. Psychedelic, abstract. I'm fine with you getting a point there. Okay. Eight to seven. I'm just having fun. What's wrong with people today? No cleverity anymore. It's gone by the wayside in place of dookie humor and cock jokes. What's the deal with TikTok nowadays? They're not showing my videos on the view page. Huh. I'm quite peeved by this. Yeah. They will not show my videos on the for you page. Yeah. I'm glad they don't show yours on mine. You're fucking annoying. One day I'm getting millions and millions of views, thousands of comments, and all of a sudden I'm shadow banned. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing just seems like you're pretentious and like- My videos deserve to be seen, and I think TikTok ought to throw me a bit of a bone. I just think you need knock down a ring or two, buddy. Give me my views, TikTok. It is completely unfair the way they've treated me on that platform, and I will see to it that my videos once again are viewed by millions and loved by thousands. About time you load up that musket and do that thing you were talking about. <laughs> there you go. That'll get you views, buddy. They love that kind of shit on TikTok. But it was a bit of a gag. Yeah, okay. As I am not dead. Uh, fucking Fool you. Musket. And once again, please like and follow if you'd like more content like this. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that is fire. <laughs> looks like Dolly 2 has been visiting your neighborhood. What? <laughs> Pretty badass. I, I mean, that looks like a still 13 footer. I mean, that thing could whip through a cedar in no time. Birch, don't even talk about it like butter. <laughs> strong, not strong enough for the old still 13 footer. It's a good chainsaw. <laughs> Trees in my neighborhood stay in no chains. City don't want me cutting them down. Said they've been growing them for 
years to yeah. provide shade for the children and create a more aesthetically pleasing drive down the residential roads. I say, bah humbug. I'm selling that for firewood, 20 bucks a barrel, it's in my front yard. What is a city anyway, saying they own the trees? Yeah, bullshit. The trees been here longer than the city. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> The only person who's going to own that tree is whoever buys the firewood from the barrels in my front well, yard. fuck yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. That's who's going to own the fucking then tree. they own the tree. Rightfully so. Business done the old-fashioned way. Cash on hand. Cash on hand. OBO. Or best offer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they can pay whatever they like. Sure, because that's just fair. Elected a mayor younger than my youngest. I said, what the fuck? How's a kid going to tell me what to do? Yeah, a fucking child mayor. You got to be shitting me. If I didn't have all my marbles in a row, I'd go down to City Hall myself and I'd chop his legs off. With my still, 13-footer. It would have no problem ripping through his little baby boy flesh. And I'd chop him up and I'd sell him for an honest price, OBO, in a barrel in my front yard. I don't do Facebook Marketplace. I've been swindled too many times. People tell me they have a vintage Zoltar machine. I show up, it's from the 90s. I said, when the fuck did the 90s become vintage? I was born in 77, what's that make me, a relic? That's right, barrel of bones in my front yard. Phibias, tibias, femurs, all from city officials. $20, OBO. Three, two, one. <laughs> Billie Eilish brand Finishing a chainsaw trail cam footage. Oh shit, I put Riley with a chainsaw photographed. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you, cuz. <laughs> what was it, Grant? Billy Eilish holding a chainsaw trail cam footage. Wow. <laughs> brandishing. Oh. Jesus. Well, yeah, that's why I, want, I, I was so excited to write brandishing. Oh, you're that's a such little, a cool word, because it is just holding, yeah. but, but brandishing, I always think this. It's like, so it implies you're gonna do something with it. I know, he's brandishing a knife. Yeah. And he, he's like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. look at me, I'm about to stab. Yeah. Last one here. Wow, what? Just beautiful. It's so colorful. And this involves an artist as well? Yeah, it's the dude. What is that thing called in, in NASCAR? Pit stop. Pit stop. I wish your pits would stop stinking. Well, I ran out of deodorant, so. Three, two, one. I put pit bull working a pit stop at a NASCAR race, baseball card style. But Dale Earnhardt Sr. simply changing a tire, impressionist. <laughs> <laughs> this is Eminem replacing a tire at a NASCAR race in Fauvism. Oh. Fauvism, ah, okay. Real I really shit. thought you, I thought you had done the pit bull pit stop, it's which I think is good, but okay, that's Eminem. What a game. Dolly 2 is incredible. Yeah, it really is something. So it's obviously a very powerful AI. It's mm -hmm. able to serve us up some pretty realistic and pretty interesting images. Thank you, AI. And we appreciate access to Dolly 2 to be able to do this game. We want to do another one with mm -hmm. it. So again, join our Patreon, send Grant over some prompts if you'd like to see them show up in the second version of this. Yes. We hope you guys Guys had fun. We had a, a great time experiencing the downfall of the world in slow motion. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to all the stuff I said at the beginning, and Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Once you know all, you know nothing. All right, this has been Hi My TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Randy Orton, out of nowhere. Boy, 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 boy. She gobble me up like a chopped cheese. Like a chopped cheese. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Ran out of Sherm, had to sell a fiend to Breeze. <laughs> West Side Gun. West Side Story. Oh, what a story. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing with a spinner bay almost caught a big bass. I'm wishing that my dinner date had a bigger ass. Yo, you shouldn't. No, it's fine. No, I know, but yeah. I'm just, it was just rhymed really well. Uh, spinner bait. Yeah, dinner date. Caught a bass. Dinner oh, yeah. Date. That's good. Bad fatter ass. Got it. Not problematic. More like sick-o-matic. <laughs>